Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, Jaws is now a part of the dental world too. Hi, I'm Mark Duncan and welcome to LVI TV. Summer is just around the corner and as a part of getting ready for beaches and zip lines in tropical paradise, there's several things you want to do. One is to go back and watch the LVI TV episode on juicing. Getting rid of water weight and getting your body detoxified is a great preamble to your time on the beach. Another thing you may want to do is rededicate yourself to yoga or stretching or whichever you prefer to call it. But getting your body centered and healthy is a perfect way to bring in the spring. It also makes sense to review the LVI TV on probiotics and get yourself sorted out there too. Of course, the last stop is to get that grill snazzed up. Smiling through nasty snags is no way to greet the summer. And the cool thing is there's now a potential new way to do that. Since I was little, I've avoided watching Jaws just before the summer because the last thing I want to do is worry about what's lurking beneath me as I flop around doing seal impersonations on the surface of the ocean. However, it turns out there's a very cool bit of dental trivia that we can learn from Jaws, and that's how to grow new teeth. Sharks have up to 3,000 teeth at any one time, and they rotate out so that as they lose one tooth, another is there to grab and shear. Over the course of a lifetime, they may have as many as 30,000 teeth that they've lost, and in a matter of a few days to a few months, they regrow a new one. So how would we do that? Well, as it turns out, Dr. Gareth Fraser from the Department of Animal and Plant Sciences at the University of Sheffield in the United Kingdom has worked with his colleagues to identify a network of genes responsible for tooth development, lifelong tooth regeneration that sharks enjoy. Since we're all made of the same basic primordial ooze, we have the same genes as sharks. All we need to do is figure out how to turn that on. Not the sharing a hammock at the edge of the water turn on, but the turn it on like flipping a switch. This team has published their findings in developmental biology and they've identified expression patterns from several genes that have led to the formation of the dental lamina, a set of epithelial cells in cat sharks. The dental lamina was found to drive tooth development and continuous root regeneration in these sharks. This same dental lamina is what grows in human teeth, but it's lost once the adult teeth are formed. The exciting part of this research is if they can trigger the regenerative nature of the cells that we already have, then perhaps we can regrow tooth structure and regenerate teeth. In the United States, untreated tooth decay and dental caries are the primary causes of tooth loss or edentulism in adults. And according to the CDC, in 2011 and 12, around 52% of American adults between 20 and 64 had lost at least some of their teeth due to dental disease. What Dr. Frazier told the Daily Mail is that what it means is because we have the same genes to make teeth, we also have a regenerative program. Now their findings indicate that it may one day be possible to trigger tooth regeneration in humans. So start juicing, get back on your probiotics, throw on your new Lululemons and activate your inner shark. Summer is just around the corner. From growing teeth in a petri dish to activating dormant gene activity, dentistry is charting brave new paths. Let us know your thoughts on genetic engineering and dentistry below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of LVI TV. I did not know how to treat certain cases, and I definitely had patients that would come in that... Episode. Was that this had... less protruded position effective in dealing with sleep apnea? Well, in a recent study done to determine... Four to six uh, extra strength Advil every day for headaches. I actually went to the emergency room one time in dental school.